Hello friends. So today we will see how we can create a mix and match flavor app without using any code. We have just transfer hand over this code to our one of our client, which is using is what is the client requirement and how we process it. So my client is selling a bunch of a pack of candies, which can contain multiple different candies in a single pack. So, and in this scenario, he has a fixed price for that candy pack. User can select eight set of toffees. Uh, images are for reference only. Vendor wants to sell a pack of candy too at a cost of two rupees only. Now, but since this, uh, this is a custom packet of uh, candies, user will able to select what kind what kind of candy he want he or she want and how many that can be here there is a limit of eight a user can select maximum eight candies in a pack let's, let's see how it works then we will see how we uh, set this product at admin so whenever this product will load the add to cart and buy now will automatically be disabled because if we enable it the user will able to check out anytime so the since the limit of pack is 8 user will can increase it there is no limitation a user can select which kind of top fees or candies and how many <clears throat> there is a only single requirement that is he can or he and she can select only eight so as you can see uh, whenever whenever I am clicking on the plus button it increases the count and it decreases the count <clears throat> we can select any kind of combination here the criteria is just that it should be 8 whenever you try it user will try to increase the quantity it inform the user that you cannot select the maximum once you click on the add to cart <coughs> since the vendor candy pack is cost 2 rupees only we are we have not increased the price here and whenever you process this order this information will be available in the admin as a property so this is a one product which does not increase the cost of the product let's see how we have set up this for user since it's not a app let's see how user can select the candies and other thing so we have created a product this is the candy too and we have created a <coughs> meta field option where user can create Now we are going to create a set of this section. We will put a title bunch of candy. This is the max limit. How many candies, different type of candies you want here? 12. And this is for when you want to show it or disable it. Sometimes we don't have stock, then we can just make it false so that full feature is dis get disabled on the product page now list item list items refers to this section where we have placed the text and the image thing now select entry you can 
select the existing entries or you can say existing products or whatever you want or you can create a new entry put the name here new candy one so since it does not belongs in this section it does not belongs to any product therefore we are we are asking for the image you can choose the image like select this one one and save this will be added create an, another entry <coughs> new candy to select image and this is the second candy I'm saving it let's go back to our product so for this product I am changing this limit to 5 not 12 because we have uploaded only two items new items candy new new candy 1 and 2 and let's select our red candy 3 we have 3 items here now save it so we have already placed it bunch of candies now save and let's refresh the page <coughs> and you can see now the selected count is become 5 and our items are available now let's see let's clear the existing card now we will select our product new candy 1 new candy 2 red candy 3 same you can see we have already selected the 5 1 and when we press a plus it shows a message that you can add only 5 candy if we decrease the value the add to card button will be disabled plus and add to cart this will add items in the now when this order will get take place vendor will get to know that he has to pack in this pack new candy 2 2 item new candy 1 1 item red candy 2 item to make a bunch our solution do not uh, include any kind of uh, map the whole functionality is done by the custom coding in the theme if you like this feature and want for your for your own website you can pay, uh, comment us on the link or connect us through whatsapp details are in descriptions yeah.